Yo, welcome back everyone, it's here. The long-awaited sequel to the Model O, it's the glorious Model D. No D jokes here. D's nuts! Dude. Got him! <sighs> the Model O was an incredible value as a feature-packed, lightweight mouse, but it certainly wasn't without its caveats. Still, I've been hearing a lot about Glorious' updated packaging and cable, so I'm looking forward to see if they have indeed taken some steps forward with this latest release. The Model D is an ergonomic iteration of Glorious' lightweight gaming mouse, weighing in at 69 nice. grams, complete with RGB lighting, the most important feature for your gameplay, obviously, PTFE feet, which is the same material as Hyperglides, a new and improved paracord-like cable, and of course, a lightweight design with honeycomb cutouts in the shell of the mouse on the top and the bottom, but not on the sides. As you can see, I've got the glossy white version, as I had both the black and white version of the Model O in matte, and I wanted to try the glossy. The gloss is very smooth and soft and feels very nice to the touch. But as I tend to get warm and my hands get a little sweaty, it is extremely noticeable in the gloss. And this is in a very dry time of the year where I live. So if you're in a humid environment or know that your hands tend to sweat at all, I'd highly recommend the matte. Otherwise, the glossy is very nice and comfortable and looks great. Note that I didn't struggle with ripping off the RMA sticker from the cable this time, which you guys definitely advised me against in the comments. Not a good idea. No wonder it was so difficult to take off. Yikes. Anyways, I liked the responsiveness of the clicks on the Model O, and the Model D is no different. The clicks are on par with, if not a tad bit sharper, than the Logitech G Pro Wireless, and second only in sharpness to the final mouse. Here's a quick sound test. The only complaint I have is the slight rattle I'm noticing on the down scroll, but the scroll wheel still feels considerably better than the final mouse and about on par with the Razer Viper. Otherwise, everything feels awesome. The side buttons are great, minimal pre-travel, minimum post-travel, good sharp click, and while there's no space between them to sort of distinguish them from one another like there are on the final mouse, they're large enough not to be confusing. I know where my thumb's going when I press on the front or the back, and they're much nicer and higher profile than those in the Razer Viper. The cable is certainly better, tighter, and rounder Wait. than the original flat and loose Gross. cable. Still, it's not perfect. Though they have improved the packaging and removed the one brutal tight angle that I noticed in my Model O unboxing, there are still some tight angles in the way that the cord is wrapped. It's not as kinky as, say, 50 shades of gray, probably a little bit closer to 20, 25 shades of gray, in my estimation. Still, there's room for improvement. Glorious are offering replacement cables or customizable cable options in different color variations on their website, but replacing this cable isn't quite as simple as unplugging it and plugging it back in. There's going to be some disassembly and subsequent reassembly required. But it is good that there are customization options and that Gloria should be responsive to replacing defective cables, which is an issue they've had in the past, to help ensure that everyone's experience with the product is a good one. The PTFE feet on this mouse are good. They're not quite hyperglides, but they're the closest thing to it as far as stock feet that I've tested. They have a really, really nice glide. My only complaint would be that the edges seem a bit sharp as opposed to more rounded, which I only really noticed on my Artisan High End mouse pad that I use, which is notoriously finicky for me. On a normal cloth mouse pad, they glide as smooth as I am when I'm talking to women. Wait, uh, it's as smooth as falling down a flight of stairs. Uh, no, it's as smooth as dry sandpaper. Ah, shit. I don't know how analogies work. It's very smooth, okay? I am clearly not. The mouse also comes with the additional PTFE material that you can add on to make the skates bigger at the front, back, or both, which is an interesting feature and could be attractive to some people. Just thinking about the physics of it, it would increase the surface area contacting the mouse pad, which should in theory increase drag? Everyone knows this. But it would distribute the weight of your hand and mouse across a greater area, so friction may end up netting out. I don't know. I didn't do the math. I'm not a doctor. I'm just spitballing here. But it's an interesting feature, worthy of note, and another option for customizability. If you like a larger skate, like you see on the Zowie mice, 
you're in luck. Having noted the steps Glorious has taken to improve their mice from the initial launch, it's time to talk about the shape. The mouse is on the larger side, with similar measurements to the Model O and the Final Mouse Air 58. However, it features an ergonomic design suited for right-handed users. I am comfortable, quote unquote, palming the mouse, and my hands are around eight inches. It's really more of a hybrid palm slash claw grip, but it's very comfortable. And if you have a larger hand and want a lightweight ergo to palm grip, this is your best bet for value in the ultra lightweight space. The only direct competition that I can think of are the Extrify M4, which is definitely a little bit smaller, and which I've ordered and will be testing when it arrives from the UK in a few weeks. The G Wolves Skull, which I'm not personally a huge fan of, but I do like G Wolves as a company. I don't want to say too much more about it because the skull isn't for me but they do seem like a good company and i suppose the new and improved razor death adder v2 with a new cable new feet and new lightweight design will also fall into this category of competition but if the side buttons are as low profile as they are on the viper i'm not that interested personally i'm just used to using an ambidextrous mouse so i don't know that i'm inclined to make the switch over and i definitely need a matte version if i were to but the mouse looks amazing feels great Great, and at a $50 price point, you simply can't beat this feature set. Honestly, the more I use it, the better and better it feels. The clicks, the scroll wheel, the shape, it's fantastic. This is a very, very well-made mouse, and I want to commend Glorious for how well this product turned out. The cable is the only thing that could use a little bit more improvement. Hopefully this review helps. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below or reach out on Twitter. If you wanna come hang out, follow me on Twitch. I play a lot of Modern Warfare with my friends and I'm happy to talk mice, keyboards, gaming gear, games, sports, life, whatever you want. It's a good time. Thanks again for all the support. I really appreciate it. I'm getting back in the groove making videos and I'll see you guys again soon with another one.